So there is this image of a boy on a bike that is getting viral on Facebook right now, on the pages of Facebook. This photo of a kid on a race with a race number, with a no helmet and with just a regular bike. What captivated people's heart is this close up of his photo, of his face. The true grit and determination in his face. I did some research and found some more photos of this kid. This is a race in Cambodia and not in the Philippines who people are saying it is in the Philippines. Nope, it is in Cambodia, it is in Phnom Penh. It is a 1.25 km short track in a Priak Liep. To put into context on why is the kid that has no helmet is getting viral, I did my research and found out that there is not only one or two but three kids that just has no helmet and also riding normal bikes. So it begs you to ask the question, why are they riding like that? So I had to ask some people and I had to ask the people of the Cambodia MTV series and this is what they have to say. They said that those local kids live nearby the track and just showed up a few minutes before the race. Obviously, it would have been better to get them helmets but as we don't, don't have any on hand, our, our team still allowed them to race and I am glad they did. They certainly enjoyed it more than anyone. And the risk of getting hurt was pretty low. Unfortunately, we don't have the contact of this boy on the photo and I was told after the race, he is now sponsored by a cycling team. So we may see him next time with some proper equipment. And after the race, people were amazed by the boy. So they went up to him and appreciate him because I was researching on the Facebook comments if they, they were asking if he won. One of the comments said he was leading the race until the last two laps wherein he had a mechanical. So he, he became pit place I think. That's what the comment said. I cannot read them because they are Khmer. Khmer, that's the language in Cambodia. I was just using translation. Three days later, the Cambodia Youth Movement 157 are the people that went and looked for the boy and gave him some surprises. They also found the other boy, rider number 257. I'm pretty sure he also has a bike, a new bike. This is so humbling to see. I'm having goosebumps right now with this story. With that, which was happening to them. It's so beautiful. This is true story of just never giving up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Right? Do whatever you like. And don't let the hindrance stop you. There is a quote saying, the fastest bike you have is the one you have right now. Story of this is the kid uh, his name is Pic Teara and I think he's the youngest of a five sibling family. His father is a construction worker and uh, her mom, they, all, they also recently found out that her mom is sick. So she's just at home helping the kids. Early the next morning. This is actually November 10, where Mr. Light Tai Liang went and looked for this boy again, Pick, and gave him a brand new bike. That is so insane. The blessings are pouring into this kid. I hope one day this kid gets so successful in his life. So nice. Very, very nice story. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like Cambodia MTV series to see him more on Cambodian MTV racing. He will rip up and he will be very very good for sure. 
we will see him in the future and I hope you follow him and follow his journey all right thank you guys and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel too all right thank you bye bye see ya